Hey everybody, it's Ann from What's Up Homestead, and I thought I'd kind of give you a little tour of my room that I do everything in besides cook. And it's like a pantry slash gardening room slash nursery slash office in this little tiny space. So I was going to kind of show you, I should have showed you before and after, it was a disaster. But now I've got it cleaned up and kind of organized somewhat. So I'll just kind of show you what I've got here. I've got all my food that I've canned and my jars. I'm trying to arrange them in some kind of order, but I'm really, I'm just trying to get them somewhat in a group together. I've got a lot of them still underneath my bed that I haven't used yet. But this is the little bit that I have left that I haven't used that I've already opened up out of the box. Some of these I have them in other boxes and some of them are still unopened and the one under my bed is still unopened. So I've got plenty of jars but I might have to expand my space up here because I don't have enough room. I need to start using some of this stuff but I want to get some of my freezer emptied out first because it's easier to use my canned stuff than it is the freezer stuff but I need to get it out because I have freezers packed full and I need to do a video on that too just to show you how much food I already have but I'd like I need to I need to clean my garage first so one thing at a time so I'm just kind of show you what I've got here I've got some of the raw packed chicken here some of it's grouped not all together but this is some beef some roast. I love to can roast. And that's like a hot pack where you cook it and then cook it some of the way and then you can it. This is a raw pack where you just cut it up and let its own juice uh, make the, the broth for it. Only thing is it doesn't come all the way to the top like this does. So I'm probably going to use that one first, even though it was canned after that. But I don't know. I think it's just the way it looks. It's still safe, but I don't know. You never know. But I know I followed the safety procedures. I followed the recipe exactly. So it should be good. And these are the potatoes I did. The first, first video I did, I think I used those jars. Some more raw packed chicken. I have and the potatoes that I did the other day. I don't want to dig all through here, but this is like some more beef, and I have like um beef stew. I have pinto beans. I have there's another beef stew. Some pork. This is a like a chicken stew that I made. I haven't tried it yet. This is, sorry, it's getting a little dark in here. I don't have the best lighting, but that is some barbecue. You just make your barbecue sauce and your pork in there, and it's in the Bob Blue Book, and it's delicious. I have some soup back there, some more pork, some more beef. I have canned tomatoes here. I have pickled okra. Sorry, I don't want to get in that light. Pickled okra there. One's in a blue jar, so it looks a little bit darker. I've got my relish back here. I've got a lot of relish. Can't pull it out, but I'll pull it out. Well, no, that's... Oh, that's just a jam, sorry. I've got a bunch of relish because I love it in chicken salad. And down here, some more okra, some more beef, some corn, collard greens, a lot of beets back there. It's kind of dark in here. I need another light. And there's other pintos that I did. And more potatoes. Probably some more things back there, but I tried doing pickles, but I just don't like them. They're too soft. But the pickled okra is a great substitute. It works ju just like a pickle recipe, and it's a lot better than the regular pickles. I haven't tried the the one method where you 
put it on a low temperature and you have to monitor the temperature the whole time because I was new to canning and I didn't want to have to do that and I was nervous about it so I might try that eventually but we love relish so I made a whole lot of that so then I have here I have on my lids in one space so it's easier to find and I've got some pickling lime I haven't ever used it but I picked it up at a store just because I thought I might need it sometime and I've got some pickle crisp in case I want to start making pickles again and I've got like some canning accessories like I've got an extra regulator I've got that one that came with the canner that I don't use I bought a new gauge until I realized that I was just missing a part so I've got an extra one of those what is I have like the jar lifter, I have some funnels in here to use. I have these that I got at the dollar store to help grab lids. And I've got you know my accessories where you the jar or the um magnetic lid fix it up the magnetic lid. And what else? That's it in there. How about the paper towel holders to keep my lids and rings on where my my rings sorry and I've got them in the different sizes the wide mouth and the regular I have these fermentation airlock lids they have the little um the little hole in the top where you put them in your jar and it lets air out and I hope to start fermenting some things again this year. I love the pickles. No vinegar, you just put water and salt in there and let them sit. And I have these, the jar weights that go with the fermentation kit. And it just holds everything down underneath the liquid. And hopefully I can do some videos this year doing that since this is my second year of doing it. And then I've just got like my cookbooks here. I've got the the Ball Blue book, the Bible of Canning. I've got this complete book of pickling, but I don't I don't really care to go outside the Ball Blue books in the um, the University of Georgia. It's got the Idiot's Guide to Fermenting Foods. Hopefully, I can do some more of those. Putting food by. I don't think I've did any recipes through them but um, I don't know it's still not by, by the regular you know the canning books that are the the standard but I know that I'm still working on her channel she's used it and I really trust her if I trust anybody on YouTube it would be her and um, she's made some out of that so I might try that I've got some church cookbooks that I'd like to start trying out the recipes there. I've got the America's Test Kitchen Family Cookbook. I love them. I I usually I used to watch it all the time when we had satellite, but I don't catch them as much as I would like to. But they have them on YouTube, so I watch them there. And of course, I've got the Better Homes and Gardens new cookbook. Food processor, perfection. I haven't really done anything with that yet. I'd like to from America's Test Kitchen. The instant loss. I need to start looking into that one since it has, I just bought, I mean, I just had an um, instant pot. I mean, I've had it on the shelf for a couple years. So I just broke it open the other day and I'm experimenting with that. So I need to open up that book. And I've got the... Pioneer Woman. I've got uh, Southern Living Ultimate Book of Barbecue that we bought my husband. Got Once a Month Cooking. There's a Weight Watchers cookbook. Um, Mad Hungry. Another Pioneer Woman. One is Dinner Time and one is what is that? A Year of Holidays. And the new best recipes from Cooks Illustrated same thing as America's Test Kitchen. Then I used to get this um, food, everyday food, 
when Martha Stewart had her channel and I got that book so I have a whole lot of those and I have a lot of Cook Country magazines that I still get and down at the bottom I have some square foot gardening books for season harvest free range chicken gardens I've got a seed catalog that's covered up back there from rare seeds and just a few other little books like Bible and things like that so that's what all I have over here then I just have some little knickknacks here that I've got to put away and this is my growing station which I think it's going to be retired for the year because it's been nice and warm out here I think we're going to get a 40 degree morning or at night but I'll cover everything up but I just have I think some seeds in here yeah just some seeds and some new gloves that I haven't used yet that's where that marigold goes and some seed starting mix better homes and gardens I've got some sprayers that I need to get out and use I need to um, get my ants killed off that is, I think, some candles. That's just nothing. I usually use that to pour my dirt in there to get my seeds started. Got some organic vegetable and tomato food. I have some more seed starting mix. I don't like this at all. If you're going to get something, do not get the Jiffy natural and organic. It's not the same thing as that other Jiffy that I have I've been buying, but I did buy a Burpee and it was really good. So I'm going to start buying that one. And I've just got the 72 sales. So maybe I'll do some for winter. I don't know, but it's only $5. So I need to stock up on those. Those are the 72. So you don't have as many trays to lug around. And then I have just the two heating mats. I have everything off now. And then my my lights up here. I have two on each one. I think uh, I'm going to move them to one on each. And just the boxes the heating mats came from. And that's about it. So I've got my two monitors here. I missed that when I quit my job. I worked there 19 years and we had double screens and I loved it. So I've got a laptop and I can hook, on my, la hook my laptop up to my screens. And then we've got the new, uh, the new printer. That's my little nook in here it's nothing fancy but it's been working really good for me it's metal and it's really sturdy and it stays nice and cool in here so I hope you get inspired to can if you don't if I can can anyone can do it I, w I waited years to to start canning and I took all kinds of classes at my local extension office and I think at the end I think I was trying to teach the class myself I was so excited about doing it so I hope you enjoyed it and if you have any questions if you have any suggestions I would welcome them so I will see you in the next video